Wow, holy crap. I mean, that just happened. Like insane stuff is happening on a large scale. And I feel like I'm in the bloody, yeah, in the bluffing middle of it. Um, I don't know who's been following this content, but I'm very aware that my presence seems to make certain people really angry. You know, I'm not saying that as a, you know, I want to fight with people kind of way. It's more like that if I show what I can do on a spiritual level, then there are people who feel threatened of my presence. And there's no other way of saying that than the way I've just said it. And I think I'm going to make this one of my Mad Hatter talks. And maybe I just need a little bit of comfort. But somehow I also no, I think it's good like this. I also think I want to look a bit more chilled, right? You know, I'm just trying to understand what the scene of my life is supposed to be like. And these choices that I eventually have to make are driving me nuts in their complexity, if you will. And the reason it is so is that, I mean, I can not even walk through the streets anymore without being a little bit concerned that there might be not be somebody who wants to punch me in the face. And I'm saying that with as much care as I can, because that is what I have to and want to avoid at all costs. Because no matter how much time I spend working with my fears and my anger and all that kind of stuff, and I mean, I know this stuff because I've written books about it. I've been studying fear and that means you do become a little bit compassionate. So if there's like people in your surrounding that piss you off, then you find ways of how to deal with that. And I don't want to sound like overly concerned or what's the word for that? like. You know, sure, I'm also biased. If somebody pisses me off, then I start thinking about what can I do to deal with the situation. I'm trying to be not really a pussy about it, but I also don't want to be like overly concerned that somebody may be out there that wants to kill me. I mean, if I know where these people are, you know, I can just like, you know, maybe the right word for this is, you know, let my ego go and just avoid these areas altogether because there are shops also elsewhere, right? I mean, I can go to any shop and just today, because I started avoiding the area where these people tried to like engage with me in a violent manner, right? I mean, they kind of waited for me to come. Or maybe I was trying to pull them towards me and they felt it. It's possible because I was kind of preparing myself for a fight just to see what it's like. And when it was 200 meters away, I started sprinting to the police station. And then I said, fuck this shit. You know, because they were coming towards me, both of them. And I realized the law of attraction works. You know, I started like fighting with like a wooden thing, you know, I was punching it with my fists and then I took like a metal object, right? And I took it in my hand, I was walking like that, you know, okay, let's see, let's see where this is going. And I walked on purpose through the street where the first approach happened and then the second one with the, you know, and kick in the stomach and stuff. Now it was the third, now the fourth time, actually we met once during the day and then the fourth time, Wow, hot air, that's what it is. It's all a bunch of hot air. Because when I was walking the fourth time at two in the morning at night, you know, I was like walking and then they were coming towards me and had this metal thing in my hand. I was like, let's see. 
you know, and I was trying to walk left and then they walked left and I was trying to walk right and they walked right and then they were like, you know, walking like this, you know, hey, you come here. And I was just like, fuck this shit. You know, I said it out loud. I remember it. And I, you know, it's nice to say things like this because I also never had an opportunity to say something like this, right? I mean, it's a nice occasion. And what I'm doing now is actually I'm preparing food and this is Jera. I found this and I remembered it. And now there's an interesting way that I just thought of how I can prepare it without heating up the oven because that's how you would normally do it. Or you can put it inside a toaster, but this is hot, right? If I just do it like this, or I could even take Right? Something like this. Put it on top. And voila! It's not gonna stick like this. It's still hot. And this is DIY kitchen at its best, if you will. And... You know, Jera is also made with cumin. This one, and there's also some I think that they make with chili. Probably there's other ones as well. And there's other kinds of places where they do this. Um, of course, this is very different from chapati. It's also very salty, I think. Um, you know, it's just a bit of background. Of course, this would take longer now. But you also have to consider electric costs at some point. And if this is already he heated, then it would be stupid of me to now use the oven, you know, just to think of it, because that takes the heating up, takes the most energy. So you can also start to be a bit smart about how much money you actually pay for electricity, right? It's like sometimes I leave the light on in every room. But then I also think, I mean, if I constantly turn on and off light, isn't that also bad for the light bulb? Isn't it going to break sooner if I keep turning it off? And you see, there are some choices that are so difficult that at one point I just stop giving a shit. Because maybe if I think the light bulb's going to hold, right, I'm going to have longer healthy light bulbs. And maybe that's the same way I'm supposed to deal with myself and life, right, that I say, you know, I think my body's gonna hold because I also work to heal it, right? I go into nature, I roll around in the grass, I walk like an animal, right? And in this way, I'm healing my body. And at the same time, I say, hey, you know what? If there's somebody who wants to do me in, right? As they say it in Harry Potter, then I'm just gonna avoid that person because to me, my life is more precious than somebody, you know, somebody's hate or their ignorance of the consequences, right? It's like, I don't think he knows what he's doing, but if we would engage in such an encounter where he's just full rage in my face, then I have to defend my life, which means this would be a life and death fight. And I have no intention to go to prison for somebody's stupidity, right? It's like he has no idea what kind of strength a person is wielding that has, you know, learned to walk like an animal in nature that climbs up trees with his bare hands, right? It's like... You have no idea what this training in nature has done. And that means I have to take responsibility for my strength. It's not supposed to sound like pussy or anything. This is lentil curry, by the way. It's just very simple. You know, I just soak lentils for half a day. And then I, you know, put them into water. Oh, wow, look at this heat. Oh, yeah, I turned it back on. Of course, it's going to be hot. But do you, do you know, to be honest, I like it. I like when food is a bit charred. I think it gives it a nice taste. 
So, you know, for whatever reason, this guy certainly helped me. Because now he's, you know, in a way keeping me out of the city. And that's actually good because I was spending time there with what I would consider to be homeless people in the broad sense. You know, at least people that feel at home in the city. And one of them particularly who's just smoking all the time. And, you know, that's... Yo, nice! Now I have a real grill. You know, I can grill things on this. It's crazy, right? It's like, nice! I never thought of it like that. Yeah, I really think it's nice to be with me in the kitchen. You know, that's just how I feel now. So I also don't think that it's a big problem to invite people into it, right? I mean, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, how it would be if somebody would be also here. I mean, that's something that I sometimes think of. Like, you know, let's say I would be with a woman or, you know, my wife or whatever. You know, sometimes it's hard to say, so I'm keeping myself a little bit down to earth, right? I'm not trying to be too much in this, you know, I'm in love and I have a wife because, you know, there's always this bit of uncertainty left. And I'm not quite sure what's going on. And I think I like it that way. You know, it's strange, but I think I like it that way. That I'm not quite sure whether something is coming my way or not. And that's the same way now with this kind of aggression, right? It just makes it a bit more interesting. And, you know, because I was also kind of stuck of always walking through the city and I think it started to piss me off, literally. Now I'm gonna use oil. And soy sauce because something's missing and I just realized that eating oily foods is actually good for you. Right, so I could also add olives now. And I also just like oil. And now I'm gonna be like super exquisite and just put soy sauce on top. You know, what they used to use is actually muggy. And I know people said this makes, you know, it's addictive, but to be honest, I mean, what isn't addictive? I mean, if you know, it's just muggy, right? I mean, that's also a plan. And glutamate is just salt, right? I mean, the only reason that it's addictive is that also salt and sugar are addictive. I mean, some people are addictive, for Christ's sake. So, you know, it's just the same with Coke. I mean, I mean, sure, if I drink it every day and only that, all right. But a cool Coke on a hot day is really nice. Yeah, I just bought some licorice. I haven't had it in a while. 30 cent. Right question. Would I do this if there would be somebody else? I think I would, but I would keep them out of the picture. And I think they would appreciate that. And I could still have meaningful conversations without exposing Because women are treated very differently. If you show, let's say, a beautiful woman on YouTube or Instagram, people just jerk off to it. Or they say like nice tits and stuff. But if it's a man, it's like, you know, the worst you can get is probably, oh, he's got a sexy ass. 
You know, nobody calls Johnny Depp a whore, even though he might be, right? He's probably had sex with several women. I mean, that's just an assumption, but it's certainly a possibility. Anyway, I finally started getting interested in martial arts, which is cool. Because I realized, you know, I don't have to use it, but if I know some things, it can't hurt, right? You know, I'm avoiding, you know, violence at all costs. But, you know, but if somebody really wants to engage with me and I can't avoid it, or I'm with my family, I have to know how to protect us. And that's what I realized, right? I want to also know that I can take care of myself. So I start training with trees. You know, just a bit, you know, I don't want to be like Rambo. I just want to harden my knuckles a little. But it's just like massage, right? You know, I don't go until it's bloody. At least not yet. Well, that's something that could really train me. And then I think of people like Bruce Lee. I mean, he probably didn't just train because he thought it was nice. I think he also saw the value in it of knowing what you can do and then. But I also think he was quite afraid or something. Or maybe he was taking too much cocaine. You know, he, they say he was shot. I don't believe this. I think he was actually full of drugs in the end. Possible. That's why it's better to stay away from the, you know, big film industry. They suck you in like this. Bigger, better, right? I mean, you see the Bruce, no, the Tom Cruise, right? I mean, that guy's killing himself to always outdo himself. But actually, I like the cinema. You know, a bit of action. Maybe it would be nice, who's to say? Anyway, cheers.